today's story is how to find a fruit bat. If you're not too fond of fruit, may I suggest you find yourself a fruit bat. They're furry, they're friendly and they'll eat all your fruit for you. Imagine never having to eat a piece of fruit again. Not even a single grape. It's the perfect plan. So what are you waiting for? Let's find a fruit bat. First things first. Fruit bats don't live in your neighbourhood. You'll have to go to a whole other country to find one. Start by building a boat. This may seem extreme, but just think of all the raspberries you'll have you'll have to eat if you don't. Excellent. Now pack a bag full of fruit for the fruit bat and set sail. It's a long journey, but at this rate, we'll be back in time for a fruit free. That's the easy bit out of the way. Time for a little trek through the jungle. Surely you'd rather walk through a tigery jungle than spend the rest of your life eating rhubarb. That's the spirit. Now, just cross the little stream and climb the tiny hill. Then step into the deep, dark cave. Don't worry about what might be lurking inside. Think happy thoughts instead, like never having to eat another pineapple ring. Get to move on, it's nearly supper time. Perfect. This is just the sort of place where fruit bats live. Look around for something small and furry. Oops, try again. And again, and again. Congratulations, you found a fruit bat. I told you they were friendly. Let's head home and have some supper. What do you mean you don't know the way back? It's dark. And there's nothing to eat except fruit. Hmm, perhaps peaches are perfect at picnics. And who would have thought tangerines were so popular? Bananas are rather tasty when toasted. And hold on, raspberries don't taste so bad when you're hanging around with your friends. It's time to sail home for supper. That's enough jungles, enough trekking and enough fruit for one day too. Oh, go on then. Maybe just one more grape. Mmm. Yummy! Why don't you see how many different pieces of fruit you can eat? 